Hello and welcome back to the part three of the clouds using Bob's and Houdini mini course. And let's continue from where we ended in the chapter two. So we have our clouds and we have our area lights and grid objects. And let's talk about rendering in a little bit more in depth. So as you remember, uh, we had dropped the billowy smoke um, onto our clouds so we could go into the render view and render the thing so if you have seen the videos on rendering that we previously uploaded it was i think it was actually about rendering some clouds as well so if we go into our out context right uh, into the mantra app and we press the rendering and go to limits because sampling is just how many pixel samples is being uh, used to to render basically defines how much noise will be rendered right and uh, if we go to limits the um, the quality or actually how much the light goes through the volume is dictated by the volume limits so as you can see right now uh, let me delete Oops, um, let me delete the snaps. As you can see right now, uh, there is a lot of shadows um, on the bottom left part of our cloud. So we get the snap. And if we increase the volume limit, for example, to two, you can definitely see that it becomes much more light. And the, the light actually starts penetrating the bottom left part of our cloud. However, um, the caveat is that the uh, speed of rendering drops significantly. It will take a lot of time, a lot of much more time to render this thing. So, yeah, it's it's kind of like if you have a supercomputer or something like that. Uh, it might be worth it, but if not, you could possibly pick uh, fix it in post production, in I don't know, in compositing somewhere, because sometimes it's not worth the trade-off but if you're going for the real realistic look maybe it is something you're looking for okay so let's see how do we export this thing so we go to the our geometry and we press the top and start typing wrap and there is this wrap geometry outputs i connect it and as you can see there is a lot of buttons a lot of something going on but we are interested we're interested in the output file and it's uh, called dollar hip name osf bgo.sc what we actually want to do is just type pdb instead of the last two things that we had and now if we press save to disk and we go to our um, we go to our project we go to geo and we can see that we have indeed the uh, name of the file and the geometry 1.1 VDB. So let's actually try and get it inside of Blender. So I press Shift A, press the volume, import VDB, go to documents and go to Geo. And there you go. I think it, it should work immediately. So just by doing this, we have our cloud inside of the Blender. However, it just looks like, I don't know, it just looks like uh, could be worse could be better right uh, so let's see first of all our render engine let's start with the EV and I will first uh, press shift a and add another where is it uh, and another sunlight rotate it a little bit in the X so we just see what's going on and we go to the preview and uh, something starts happening basically right so uh, let's see how we can make it look better. First of all, I think we make it 20, 128. I enable ambient occlusion, screen space reflections. It doesn't really matter for the uh, cloud rendering, but you know, I I just do it, right? Uh, anyway, so let's get back to our materials and we create the new material. We click on our cloud, we create the new material, we go to the shading and uh, you will immediately see that we actually have the same uh, pretty much the same setup that we had in the billowy clouds we had the color of the cloud we have the density so if i start increasing the density you can see that well basically that's what it said it becomes much more dense so i will enable our world view maybe disable this one and let's get back to our 
rendering setup. So what do we want? We want to go to our volumetrics and we want to enable the volumetric shadows and as you can see it immediately becomes much better. Um, usually I enable high quality normals. I don't think again it works with VDB but it's just something I do. I just I just do it all the time, right? <laughs> um, anyway, so I'll get back to our sun. I think I want um, I want the strength a little bit more so we can see it a little bit clearer. Uh, get back to our clouds. I get back to our settings of the uh, rendering. So uh, currently our cloud looks a little bit coarse. So uh, the volumetric style size is actually what defines the coarse looking. Um, result of our cloud. So if we go to four pixels, you can see it, it looks much more defined. And if we go to two pixels, it actually starts, um, you know, to become a little bit slow. Um, my, maybe on your computer it will be much faster, but just my viewport is 4K, so it has to evaluate lots of pixels almost real time. So maybe it's something to, well, maybe it's something why it takes so much time. So anyway, our cloud looks really good it looks really good especially well after it takes some time to render right so I'm sorry. so let's talk about uh, the cycles a little bit and now if i press the cycles and i enable the gpu compute uh, you can see that we have a little bit of the same ish setup that we had in the mantra before we enabled the let me actually go to the mantra uh, before we enable the volume limit, right? So it kind of has this thing on the bottom left. Um, it's a little bit dark. Um, of course, if we tweak the density, it will be different, but you can see what I'm talking about, right? Um, maybe I will speed up a little bit the preview rendering um, since rendering at the 4K previews is not very fast even on a fast gpu um, anyway so uh, we have this um, bottom left shadows um, if we go again to the first of all we go to the light paths i usually have the diffuse and glossy set to two because you know i don't need the uh, global illumination to balance 50 times you know who cares but, but uh, as you can see there is this slider that says volume and uh, Basically, it will do the same thing that it did in Mantra. Uh, if we set the volume to two, uh, the light will start penetrating our clouds and um, it will start getting illuminated inside itself. So again, the speed of the rendering will drop, obviously, but, um, you know, it will be, maybe sometimes it will be more desirable. For example, you don't have a huge cloud, but you have some sort of like emission from the engine or from the train or somewhere else, and you just need the light to penetrate the smoke, uh, this will solve your problem. And obviously, as a final thing, um, let's see, we go to back to our layouts, go back to our layouts, give me a second, and we, we drop the camera, and press F3, align, whoops, align camera to view and then we press N and we go to our view and we say lock camera to view just to you know um, just to arrange the view a little bit better and there you go finally you can just press F12 and before I do that I will drop the sampling to I don't know, 32, I think, because otherwise it will take a lot of time because, you know, clouds <laughs> take a lot of time to render. Um, and I think I actually did not test it a lot uh, using the GPU on the volumetrics, but usually I increase twice the uh, number of pixels in the tiles X and Y. So uh, the tile of rendering will be a little bit more, uh, I mean, bigger. So finally we'll press F12 and um, we will see our a little bit noisy cloud, but it should be looking good. Um, let me see. I think we have our volumes enabled, right? So again, maybe just for the sake of the speed of this video, I will disable the penetration of the light through the volume. So it renders a little bit faster. So anyway, that was 
kind of like a quick overview how you can get the VDB, um, VDB data out of Houdini uh, using the wrap geometry imported into uh, one of the most popular render engines on the planet currently, which is EV and Cycles, and render your magnificent, magnificent clouds uh, using your actual GPU, if you have, especially if you have like a powerful one, uh, render your clouds using the Cycles GPU mode. And I hope it was useful for you. Um, have fun with rendering, have fun with creating mini clouds. And as previously suggested, um, there will be a part four of this little course uh, where we will be talking how to uh, animate a little bit our VOPs uh, so the clouds appear as if they were rolling inside all of themselves. So this will be another really short video. So uh, hopefully I'll see you there. Uh, if you like the video, press the like button. If you don't want to miss anything else, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you have ideas, suggestions, leave the comments below. I try to read all the comments. And uh, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Goodbye.